In a material world, if you want to develop affection and love for someone, you have to meet someone who has love for them. And by associating with that person, that'll also rub off on you. So we want to serve Krishna's dear devotee. One time a devotee asked my Guru Maharaj a similar question to yours. And he said, Maharaj, you're always saying that we should cry for Krishna, but it's very theoretical. How can I do that? And my Guru Maharaj gave a very profound answer. He said, after I leave this world, then you'll know how to cry. So sometimes we don't even like to speak about this, but there's a natural system that generally the guru leaves before the disciple. And we think, what a terrible, terrible thing. Because it then comes a time of great darkness when Guru is present, we can go to him and, and problems are resolved, conflicts are resolved. But when he's not there, what do we do? We should always understand he's always present. When he's physically unmanifest, then it's a time that we learn to cry.